Welcome back. In today's business day, Dash and Hendricks looks at plans for the diversification of the Norman Manley International Airport and the expected impact on the tourism. Norman Manley International Airport in the process of diversification and seeking to stake a claim for a piece of the prized tourism traffic into Jamaica, given that 78% of aviation traffic is for tourism. It is against that background, ladies and gentlemen, that whenever we speak of the contribution of, say, tourism to world GDP or our own GDP here, we have to connect that as well to the contribution of aviation to that GDP. Getting Kingston's airport to welcome more than a few thousand tourists each year will require the development of tourist hubs in the southeast of Jamaica. Already St. Thomas has been eyed to lead that jive. Getting tourists to fly into the airport is another part. We're expanding, and uh, I got some good news from JetBlue, who wants to expand service into Kingston. And one of the reasons is, as you all know, Kingston is going to be a gateway, a bigger gateway to our resource in the North Coast, of course, with the new highway that just finished, um, the North-South Highway. But indicating that tourists will come only if they have a seamless transition after long-haul flights, Tourism Minister Ed Bartlett was adamant that those who interact with tourists at the point of entry must be welcoming, noting the tourism economy must not be denied. He outlined how expected earnings of $3 billion US dollars this year will impact Jamaicans. Even with a retention of 30 cents out of the dollar, it represents a value added that is the greatest of any industry, including bauxite, which even though is the highest paid, its value added does not equate that of tourism. It would mean just about one billion US dollars in the economy, creating jobs, consumption and taxes, and continuing to contribute to a more stable currency. For the Business Day, I am Dashan Hendricks.